The Ukrainian armed forces are now equipped with Matador RGW-90 system from the German manufacturer Dynamit Nobel Defense DND. Nearly half of the purchased Matadors 2650 units have already arrived in Ukraine on Saturday afternoon. The remaining 2450 brand new units will be delivered in weekly installments until the end of May. As per reports, Germany's Federal Office of Economics and Export Control BAFA, authorized by the Federal Ministry of Economy, approved the arms export on Monday, March 21st. The application was submitted only on Friday, March 18th. The BAFA received approval from the Federal Security Council just hours after Germany's Economist Minister Robert Habeck's greenlight. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why the addition of Matador RGW-90 system to Ukraine's arsenal is very bad news for the Russian military. Let's get started. During a time period of high inflation, uncertain monetary policy, overpriced real estate, and quickly falling stock prices, it's more important than ever to consider diversifying across asset classes. Did you know that contemporary art is one of the oldest assets in the world? And prices outpaced the S&P 500 total return by 164% from 1995 to 2021? And listen to this extraordinary stat. According to S&P Global, 94% of fund managers couldn't beat their respective S&P indices. Not only this, art has almost doubled the appreciation of real estate, gold, and 90% of cryptos out there. So why aren't more people investing? Well, it takes millions of dollars to buy a Picasso. So contemporary art has been accessible to only the global elites. Until now. I'm excited to share with you our community and give you priority access to our sponsor, Masterworks. The Masterworks uses over 60,000 data points to find financially attractive works of art, buy them, then let you invest in shares representing an investment in that painting. Just click on the Masterworks link in the video description to get started. The Matador Man Portable Anti Tank Anti Door is a 90 mm, 3.5 inch man portable disposable anti-armor weapon system developed in collaboration between Germany, Israel, and Singapore. It's an updated version of the German Singaporean armbrust design and operates on the same principles. The development of this weapon began in the year 2000 and the Matador will eventually replace the German Singaporean armbrust light anti-tank weapon which has been in service since the 1980s. The Matador was developed jointly by the Singapore Armed Forces SAF, and the Defense Science and Technology Agency DSTA, in collaboration with Rafael Advanced Defense Systems and Dynamit Noble Defense DND joint team. The general practice in rocket-propelled infantry weapons development has been to focus on producing dedicated anti-tank weapons. But the lessons taught by many conflicts around the world made it increasingly clear that incorporation of anti-structure capability was also needed. RGW-90 is the German designation for the Matador. The letters RGW in the designation stand for Recoilless Grenade Weapon. This weapon is also offered by the Dynamit Nobel as the Panzerfaust 90 or PZF-90 for short. The launch tube is constructed of reinforced fiberglass with polymer fixtures and styrofoam shock absorbers. The Matador's projectile is claimed to be insensitive to wind due to its propulsion system, which results in a highly accurate weapon system. The propulsion system of the projectile is typical of rocket-propelled weapons with a very short-lived booster and a sustainer motor that propels the projectile through most of its flight. Both are solid-fuel rockets. The warhead of the Matador is unique, with a selectable shaped charge capability. The warhead can be used in both high-explosive anti-tank 
and high explosive squash head Hesh modes against armor and walls or other fortifications respectively selection is done by extending a probe most likely a fuse extender for heat mode and leaving the probe retracted for Hesh mode similar to the armbrust the countermass counteracts the recoil of the weapon upon firing the countermass consists of shredded plastic which is launched out of the rear of the weapon when it's fired this plastic is rapidly slowed by air resistance allowing the weapon to be fired safely within an enclosed space the matador is among the lightest in its class the warhead is effective against both vehicle armor and brick walls the weapon has little backblast, making it safe for operation in confined spaces. The Matador is supposed to be capable of defeating the armor of the most known armored personnel carriers and light tanks in the world. The dual capability warhead, when acting in delay mode, creates an opening greater than 450 millimeters or 18 inches in diameter in a double brick wall and acts as an anti personnel weapon against those behind the wall offering an unconventional means of entry when fighting in built-up areas in addition the position of the countermass takes into consideration the center of gravity of the weapon to ensure good balance for better accuracy the combat debut of the matador was in operation cast lead in 2009 the israeli defense forces or idf receiving their first batch just in time for the event it worked exactly as advertised and was able to clear or breach any fortified structures the IDF encountered. Germany had earlier refused to send armaments but reversed its decision later. Ukrainian ambassador to Germany, Andrei Melnik, who has so far been critical of the federal government, praised the speed with which Germany moved on this deal. Deputy van der Hevek and the BAFA ministry acted quickly and without bureaucracy, hots off, commenting on the fact that the central government is finally accelerating the supply of arms to strengthen the security capables of Ukraine. Matador is now added to an ever-increasing list that includes similar weapons like Javelin, Anla, and Stugna P. Portable and easy-to-use weapons like these have been the key to Ukrainian resistance since they are perfect in ambushes in urban environments like cities and towns. It is evident that Russian tactics and armor capability have been found wanting in Ukraine. The addition of 5,000-plus Matador systems will likely make things worse for the Russian forces. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting. And Kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.